if I scroll up to see the content inside the box, then you can see this arrow appears up. If I click on this arrow, then we are smoothly scrolling to the bottom. So today we are going to create this intermediate level functionality. Welcome to 29th video of Real World JavaScript series. So here we are using this DOM content loaded event. And after that, we are grabbing our HTML elements over here with the help of this get element by ID. And these are some of the variables to track the scroll direction. And this is here one function that is used to check if the user is at the bottom of the container. And this function we are going to utilize later in our code. Now on this content container, we are applying this scroll event. And this is how we are determining the scroll direction. So if the user is at the bottom of the screen, we are receiving that value inside the is at bottom. So if the user is scrolling up and not at the bottom, then we are adding here this visible class. And in the reverse case, we are removing that visible class. So that's how we are hiding that arrow. And this is how when user is clicking on that arrow, we are doing the smooth scrolling. So here we are using this behavior smooth. With this, our scrolling looks really smooth. Okay, so this was the whole JavaScript code. And in case if you need this, then GitHub repository link is present is at the description of this video. Now, before we take a look on our UI, there is a request that please share this video with your friends and don't forget to drop a like. And here we have the UI.